With high pressure back in control of the forecast, we're settling into a pretty consistent pattern. So day to day, the only major change is the temperature. And unfortunately, it's not going the right direction for us. Want to get you a check outside. This is a live look from our Valley View camera showing the clear and quiet conditions. Each day, we'll see a lot of sunshine with calm winds, nothing more than about a 10 to 20 mile per hour gust. But that temperature continues to climb as we approach the weekend. Right now, 110 degrees in Las Vegas, 115 in Laughlin. 95 for Tonopah. As we zoom into the Las Vegas Valley, you see well above the seasonal average, 113 right now in Henderson. That is absolutely brutal. Even Mount Charleston seeing a temperature of 90 degrees. We're up 2 to 5 degrees on this time yesterday. We don't expect tomorrow's bump in temperature to be quite this significant, but we will see warmer highs again as we head into tomorrow with the warming trend peaking Friday into Saturday. Satellite and radar completely clear and quiet, not just for Southern Nevada, but really the entire region. This is pretty typical when high pressure is in control of the forecast. So your 13 hour forecast showing sunshine uh, for the next few hours, clear sky as the sun sets, the wind speeds will relax after the sun sets tonight, but temperatures will take a little longer to cool off. So by 10 PM, we should be back in the double digits with overnight lows falling to the mid 80s ahead of tomorrow morning. 73 is the low tonight for Overton and Prim, 67 for Alamo. But in the Las Vegas Valley, pretty warm, pretty mild still heading into tomorrow morning with temperatures in the mid 80s. Highs tomorrow bumping up from where we landed today. That means 109 tomorrow in Pahrump, 102 for Caliente tomorrow, 118 the forecast high for Laughlin in the 120s for Death Valley tomorrow. The Las Vegas Valley should be right around or slightly above 110 degrees with the forecast high of 111 for Las Vegas, 112 for North Las Vegas, even Red Rock near 107. Because of this, an excessive heat warning goes into effect tomorrow morning. This lasts through Friday into Saturday as well with forecast highs 110 to 115 for the areas shaded in pink. For the mountains, the Sheep Range and the Spring Mountains, we actually have a heat advisory for this same time period. We expect Kyle Canyon up to about 90 degrees and Red Rock, Red Rock in the triple digits. This isn't just for one or two days. This will stick with us through the weekend. Right now, that excessive heat warning is set to expire Saturday night, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's eventually extended because you see Sunday into Monday, we stick near 110. And even with the heat relaxing a little bit, we're still staying well above average through at least the middle of next week. Todd?